to toggle between database identifiers and react home display names in um, logic graph uh, we will uh, show how this is done uh, by opening uh, the recently generated uh, graph and uh, here we can see that uh, all uh, nodes have uh, database identifiers as their labels and um, uh, edges are labeled with uh, edge logic. If we want to toggle between names or to display names, like we can look here at, at these uh, tables at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so <clears throat> here we can see that each node has, uh, like this is the node name, which is a Reactum database identifier. And, and then uh, we have as attributes, input node names and output node names. Uh, you can see that some nodes or most of the nodes will ha have both attributes as they appear uh, both as an input and output nodes. For example, um, this node here, it is an uh, input um, for, for this uh, edge and an output for this set, or basically it's an output of this node and an input for this uh, second node. Uh, and uh, we can see here that uh, the name of course is the same so this is next one a uh, cleavage product of notch uh, some edges um, however will only uh, have their attributes shown in one of the columns and these will be our uh, terminal um, output nodes uh, if we click on this node uh, and uh, look to see where it is, uh, da, da, but I don't see it anywhere. Mm. Let me let me search for it. Um, four three nine six three six four six four. Okay, so it is here. Okay, so. Here we can see that this node is a terminal output. So um, basically it is not an input for any of the reactions or for any of the other nodes. And um, it only has uh, the, dis the display name in the output node name column. Uh, we can now uh, unselect it and we can, we can look for a node, let's say if a hey gene node. So this node, um, uh, I will search for it here. It's 439 uh, 6358. Uh, and you can see this node here is a root input node. Uh, and that is why um, it only has uh, the display name shown in the input node name column. If we want to toggle between these names, we can um, go here and um, select uh, style and then go to node and then label. We can change labels from um, uh, we can change them from a uh, name, which is the database identifier by default. Uh, we can change it to input node names, and then we'll get um, these input display uh, names shown. Um, however, some uh, like some nodes will be blank. Like terminal input node, terminal output nodes in this case will be left blank. Uh, to display their names, we can go um, back to style and instead of input node name select output node name so we'll see now that um, output nodes um, will be labeled include with display names including um, uh, terminal output nodes uh, while uh, root input nodes will appear blank um, also another feature to show 
is uh, that it is possible so to search with both uh, database identifiers and uh, display name terms. Uh, for example, uh, I will switch back here to name first. So I, I again have database identifiers. So I can search um, here with has one and I'll see here that five nodes are selected. And um, if I go to these nodes, uh, so there are one, two, three, four, five nodes. And um, if I go back to style, I, or like even if I go to the table, all five nodes will be shown here. So there will be a mapping provided for each uh, database identifier to uh, display name. Or I can toggle as shown previously to, to show uh, node names like either in input node names or uh, output node names. Uh, another useful feature is uh, to select um, uh, nodes that we are, let's say, interested in uh, and mark them with a special color to achieve that. Uh, you go to selected node, uh, you go to style, make sure you're here in the node um, tab, and then fill color, you go to bypass columns. So the default is white. If we go to bypass, we can select any color as a bypass color. So this node now will appear yellow. If we want to do a similar thing for an edge, we can select the edge, uh, go back to uh, style, switch to edge tab and um, basically here uh, select bypass color for example purple and uh, that's it so uh, oh this is the label sorry I will go here and select bypass style so I will say remove bypass uh, but I will select this line to be of um, let's say purple color um, and so now it appears purple okay so that's that